Final Fantasy XIV, we all too often have to face harsh realities and contend with loss. We struggle to forge ahead in the wake of the friends we lose along the way. And real life is no different. But there is a beauty in celebrating their stories, their joys, and who they were, and what they stood for. So, let me tell you the tale of a player who left their mark on Hydaelyn, even after their passing. Let me tell you the story of Mighty. First, let's travel back in time to 2010. 1.0 has just come out, and it is charitably a train wreck. A much younger, but not better rested and newly minted director-producer Yoshi P is spending time listening to co-workers, and scrolling through gaming blogs to fully understand the extent of people's dissatisfaction with Final Fantasy XIV, in hopes that things could be turned around for the better. That's how he found Mighty, who had written a blog about his experiences, which translates as something akin to one-click kill screen shot journal, and who had just gone on a tirade against the Square Enix CEO. Not because 1.0 was bad, but because the CEO had claimed the game was not enjoyable. And that's the thing, Mighty was enjoying the game and was cheering on those working on it, looking forward to the future and the improvements to come, even if it was a bit of a mess at the moment. Yoshi P read their blog every day and would comment, letting Mighty know without revealing his true identity that he was reading and Mighty in turn never stopped playing and writing. Even two years later, when Dalamud hung low in the skies and 1.0 went offline. And when the game reopened with A Realm Reborn, Mighty was at the front of the queue. And he wasn't playing alone. Mighty decided to use the game he loved as a tool to reconnect with his somewhat estranged father by encouraging him to start playing Final Fantasy XIV. To which, Mighty did the perfectly normal thing and befriended his father in-game, without letting him know his true identity. For months and guiding him, helping his father learn to play, maintaining the charade the whole time. They ultimately, with the help of their friends, even went so far as to defeat Twintanya, one of the most powerful bosses at the time, and a royal pain in the ass even today, assuming you're doing it synced. After all this, he then revealed his true identity to his father. He chronicled these adventures in his blog, and the heartwarming story became hugely popular. Not long after, he was approached by publishers to turn the blog entries into a novel, and then in 2016, a producer approached him about adapting it for a TV show, after being moved by his and his father's journey. That show was Dad of Light. Now, if you haven't seen Dad of Light and you play Final Fantasy XIV, I cannot recommend it highly enough. But all you need to know is it's essentially a retelling of Mighty and his father's story. One of the first hurdles was to get Square Enix to give them permission to make a TV show that was about, and partially set in, the world of Final Fantasy XIV. At a meeting with Square Enix, serendipity hit, and Mighty met the man who had long been reading his words, Yoshi P. Surprised to find that the lead developer had been following his adventures the whole time, Yoshi P supported the project enthusiastically. And the two bonded over a shared love of Gundam, something that still pops up in Final Fantasy XIV from time to time. Mighty and his friends who had been with him on his original adventure were directly involved with the TV adaptation, and even controlled their own characters in the parts set in-game. While the TV show was in preparation, he also finished rewriting the blog entries into a published book. Released in 2017, Final Fantasy XIV, Dad of Light, was eight episodes of a memorable, silly, and very moving story, which you can go watch right now, and I encourage you to. And if you're pressed for time, they even remade it into a film called Brave Father Online. Since the real story was wild enough, the dramatic licenses taken for the show were fewer and more far between than one might think and it's all centered around the protagonist known as Akio, who was portrayed as cheerful, enthusiastic, and kind, with the warmth that was evident throughout Mighty's original blog entries. During all this, Yoshi P and Mighty became close friends, and would talk about all kinds of topics, but maybe most importantly, the power of online games to connect and to entertain. Had it not been for online games, they would have never met, but because they existed, they could engage in conversation as if they were longtime friends something I think many of us can relate to. When the show wrapped up, the real-life father of Mighty even sent a letter to Yoshi P, telling him how proud he was of his son. But when the two met face to face, he also said that his son had a long way to go, and asked Yoshi P to keep being his friend and to teach him. But life had other plans. During all this time, Mighty continued his blog, which included telling the story of how the TV show got made. There was even some talk of making this into a second book, Producer of Light. But in November 2018, he was diagnosed with cancer, and underwent surgery. 
not even telling those he cared for he was suffering to avoid them having to worry. Yoshi P visited when he could and even brought him a Gundam model, asking him to build it when he got better, as a goal to get Mighty through his sickness. Not long after, Mighty was discharged from the hospital and everything seemed to be going well, though he never did get around to building Yoshi P's Gundam. Unfortunately, the cancer returned, and by 2020, Mighty was back in hospital. His blog posts became fewer and further between, and his visits to Eorzea less often as his strength waned. The community of Final Fantasy XIV around the world cheered on his recovery, and the outpour of love was enormous. Mighty had been responsible for so many of their journeys through Dad of Light and his other works, and deepening their love for this world that we all call home. He continued posting, until one day, the blog fell silent. Mighty had passed away. In response to the news, players all over the world shared their sense of loss, through memorials, fan art, videos, and every other way gamers have to express themselves. Even Yoshi P wrote a memorial for him. A common sentiment was the idea that Mighty had simply been isekai'd into a fantasy world, to continue his adventures in some new wonderful way. Mighty may be gone, but their echo remains. In Dad of Light, in the inspiration and lessons they gave to Yoshi P, and even in the cheer and heartwarming memories of all who knew them, and all who know his story. He was an ambassador for Final Fantasy XIV, spreading his enthusiasm to the furthest corners of the planet and will always be remembered for his kindness and generosity. And you too are now a carrier for his legacy. We have lost, mourned, and feared for those we love who make, play, and inspire this game. But in clinging to each other and finding our way in the darkness, we find meaning in suffering. And in no small part thanks to Mighty, a fellow warrior of light and brave little spark. Farewell, Mighty. May you ever walk in the light of the crystal. Hey all, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, praise the 12 by giving it a like and comment or by subscribing. It goes a long way to helping the channel. Don't forget, new videos every week, and if you want to engage with us further, why not check out our Discord and Patreon in the link below and become a part of our community. With that said, see you around fellow Archons.